After knowing how to deal with one property, you might be interested to deal with multiple property. And in that case, you just go to your HTML file and you copy this guy and we will make it a comma separated and give it a name like last name. And you change this. This is my last name and this would be my first name. And if you want to display in the view, so you copy this thing and I will paste it here and this would be my last name. So if I want to edit it, I will just edit all these two as a like last name and this is last name. So I will, the value would be last name and here also last name. Now the relation is that these two values is the last name and these two is the first name. We save it here and we come here, refresh the page. We have first name, last name. If I update the first name, first name get changed. If I update the last name and then last name get updated very simple if you want to do something combine these two say if you have full name and if somebody change this first name you want to update the full name even and you want to do the similar and you want to do the similar stuff when somebody updated the last name and if you want to do something in combination of multiple properties you can create uh, a new property say full name and this would be knockout computed properties that means knockout will compute this property if anything changes and we will pass a function there and this function say for example will return the your obz dot first name you have to read it as a method and you will be separated by an space and your obz dot last name that's all you need to do and in the view we will display a full name so if we copy this guy and paste it here and this will be my full name and we will change this guy to full name and we save it and we go to the browser refresh it if you change the first name only aaa the first name change also the full name first name portion changed if you change the last name and then the last name also get changes in the full name